Hello, I'm going to show you how to use a bot to automate sending posts on Twitter using Axiom.ai, a no-code browser automation tool available for Chrome. I'm going to show you how to use one of our templates or even build the bot from scratch yourself. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Quickly, before we get started, let's show you the magic, the bit I love, the bot doing its thing and automating the post. So I'm going to open up Axiom, run the bot, and then I'm going to talk you through how to set that bot up, how to use the template and build the bot for yourself from scratch even. So let's just open up Axiom. I'm actually already inside the Twitter, Twitter bot, our template. Here's the bot. It's as simple as adding a few steps. Now I've got it all set up. So I'm just going to click run. So you can, like I said, so you can see the magic. Now, shortly, the desktop app will open, and this is the desktop runner, and the bot is running. My hands are here. This is pretty damn cool. I never get tired of watching Axiom's bots. Now, watch this. The post message will go in there, and then it will add the image. That's awesome. Now, that's the bot for you working. Now let me show you how to set it up for yourself. But quickly, before we do that, just imagine a world where you've got Axiom bots automating your posts to Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and any social media platform that you use. Okay, let's get on with it. So this is the template. Now, if you've installed the template straight from our site, you can just get going and can follow this video and, and configure and set up the bot. If you're going to build it yourself, just simply replicate the steps and how, and I'm going to talk you through how to set them up. So first of all, before we get going though, we need to set up a Google Sheet because all our data is going to be stored from a Google Sheet. You could of course pass in, connect alternative um, data methods that the data could come from Zapier or any other API automation platform. It could come from a webhook, it could come from a CSV, but in this case, I'm gonna use good old friendly um, Google Sheet. So I've got my Google Sheet set up. It's very simple. And I'm just gonna duplicate a few lines for the purpose of this demo. And I've just got two tabs, post and posted. And then column A, I've got my um, URL to my file that I want to upload and then column B, the text for the post. Now, if you're just getting Axiom set up, you'll need to connect to your Google Sheets to give Axiom permission just to read and write to, to the Google Sheet that you're using and then simply connect it like I've done here. So in the first, in the read step, you connect your sheet here by selecting it then choose the sheet name, in this case, post. And um, what we want to do here is to set the bot up to only read from A1, so that is cell um, cell one, row one. Cell A, you know, sorry, column A, row one, okay? And then we want the bot to just read up to column B. So we've got then, we have in last cell, AB1. Why are we doing this? It's because we're going to limit the amount of the data that the Google Sheet puts out at any one time. So it's only going to pass the one result. And that's why we have the one set of data here in our preview. Next, we added an interact with page step. This step has a whole series of subsets that are used for automating the browser, like clicks, waits, upload files. Some of those substeps we're going to use now. Okay. So all you need to set up in this step is pass your data into the correct substeps. So we're going to need data. If we think about it, what we want to do, let's, let's pause for a second. Let's actually think about what we want to do. So we've got our sheet. We need to take the data from the Google Sheet, pass it into Twitter, and click on the Tweet button, open the Tweet, put the text in. So let me talk you through the sub-steps that we've set up to do that. And you, of course, can build a bot from scratch following this pattern, or you can just use the template that's pretty simple to install. So the first thing we need to do is go to the URL. And I worked out that it's really handy that Twitter actually has 
a dedicated URL for, for creating a new tweet. So we can just go straight to this URL and it'll open up the tweet box. We don't actually need to click on the big tweet button. So I inserted that URL here and we'll leave that URL, URL already in the template. Now, then I added a weight. Why have I added this weight? Well, because if we, when we run the bot, we see there's a bit of time whilst that pop-up is loaded. Okay, so then we have a wait. Let's open up Axiom again. So once we have the wait done, we want to enter text. So to set up this step, all I did was do this and select the enter text box. And so now Axiom knows where to put the text. Then we need to pass the data from the sheet. That's pretty simple. We just select the column and we can see our preview there. Save and close. So that's the text going in. Then we just need to put the image in. So we select the image upload button, press complete, then connect the Google Sheet, this time selecting column A. That's done. Now I've got one final step here, one final sub-step rather, and that's to click on the tweet button. Now a trick here, we only want to select that button when it's active. So we just got to put some text into the box to make that button go solid blue, indicating that it's active so we can select it. Press complete. What we don't want to do is click the element now. So I'm going to press cancel there. And you can see uh, this step is grayed out, it's disabled. And the disabling is done here with this drop down. When you're ready to send your posts, enable. But when you're testing this bot, just to check it's all up and running and set up correctly, I'm gonna keep that disabled so we don't do any posts by accident. Even though you can, of course, delete them if that happens. Okay, so that's the interact step all set up and ready to do the post. Lastly, we just want to update the sheet. So when the bot has completed the post, what we want to do is then write to the second tab here that we've done the post. And then, because it would have posted that row that's just been passed from this Google Sheet, we're going to also delete a row from there. So we know that post is complete and when the bot runs again, it's going to take the next post. Finally, we've got a jump step. If we do want to do more than one post at a time, you can set up a loop here. I'll leave that for up to you to configure. If you don't want to loop and just do a single run each time, you can just delete that step. Okay, and so that's the essentials of the bot set up. I'm just gonna check the right step here. And what we're gonna do is pass, that data is incorrect. What we want to pass is the data from the Google Sheet because that's the post that's been written. We're just going to write that into posted. Okay, so that's that set up. And we've got the delete set up. I'm just checking what we want to do is delete the row from the post sheet, not the posted. And we're just going to delete one row at a time. That works in sync with our loop. So that's the bot all set up. You're now ready to use it and run it yourself. And of course, you could just build the bot if you want to give it a go from scratch yourself. Happy automating posting on Twitter. And finally, a last reminder that you can actually create more bots, not just use a single one. You could create bots to post or automate virtually anything in the web. And then if you want to schedule those posts, we do have scheduling available in our higher, in our pro tier upwards. So you can essentially automate all the posting and schedule your posting of all your social media. That's pretty cool. That's how powerful Axiom is. Thank you.